Hey guys, how are you today? Alright, so I thought I'd get on here really quick and just do a quick video about how I made this and what this is. So this is basically coffee. Don't drink it though, because I put glycerin in it. Made it, it makes it non-edible uh, anymore. Um, so I wanted to tell you how I made it, why I made it, and um, what you would use it for. So I... It, those of you that travel and love coffee know those free packets of hotel coffee that are in your room usually taste like crap. <laughs> Pardon my French. They're not good coffee. Um, so I don't usually drink them unless I'm desperate, but I do bring that coffee home and I will take two of those packets that are intended to make two pots of coffee and I put all the grounds into a saucepan with a half a pot of coffee's worth of water and boil it for about 20 minutes or so until the water is nice and dark like this. I'll let it reduce just a little bit, turn it down, and um, then I am ready. And I strain it into some kind of a big bottle like this or a sprayer. Um, I happen to have this out in the garage. This is actually, I think, for cake decorating, but it was out in my garage in my stash of stuff. And then I put a little bit of glycerin in here, maybe like a tablespoon, and the glycerin will help preserve the water, keep it from evaporate, evaporating, and also keep it from getting moldy. Um, and then what do you do with it? Why do you make it? Well, of course, it's great for the obvious, which is staining and um, coffee dyeing paper. You can also paint with it. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit here. Now, depending on how much you let it reduce, will make a difference in how dark, dark your coffee stain is. So if you want it really dark, let it reduce down, turn it down to a simmer and let it reduce by like as much as half. Um, I didn't know if I wanted mine that dark, so I didn't let it reduce that long. You could use it with a paintbrush as I'm doing. You could probably use it with a dip, a dip uh, fountain pen too. And you get this interesting golden brown color of essentially what's ink. And it is fun to play with, to use in your art journal pages and to, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm playing with the drips, to create something interesting with something unexpected and to get a color that you're really not going to be able to get any other way. You could do, probably do this with tea. Coffee is the obvious one for me. And again, if you want something darker, just let your coffee mixture simmer on the stove longer until your liquids are reduced by volume by maybe half, if you want it really dark, by half. Um, and then put it in a bottle, put some glycerin in there, give it a good shake, and you're good to go. And this is going to last me a long time. Um, the more coffee grounds you use and the more um, you reduce it, the darker it's going to be. So keep that in mind. Uh, don't put the glycerin in it until after you've already got it in the bottle and out of your saucepan. You do not want glycerin on your cooking utensils. Don't do that. Bad idea. <laughs> okay? All right. And don't drink this. It's not drinkable now. <laughs> All right, that's it for today, and I want you to go out and try making some coffee ink and see what you can create with it, and uh, do something nice for yourself, because you deserve it. All right, I'll see you all later. Bye.